It's been 12 months since three budding entrepreneurs last stepped foot inside of the lion's den to pitch their ideas of how they intended to take the investment money of the lions and turn it into a successful business. We've seen the stories of the three main applicants throughout the past year, but will they have done enough to win the favour of the lions? Well, what can I say about Niger Beats? I mean, this year has been the most amazing year. It's just been one hell of a roller coaster. Our profits have been exponential. We have even doubled your investment. You know, we have subscribers every day joining the website. We were even on iTunes, the top 10 most downloaded app of the year. Everything couldn't have gone any better. So thank you very much, Lions. It was just so refreshing to hear about how your business has advanced and how well you've done in the last year. You took the investment that we gave you and you doubled it. We invested 100,000 and you, you just um, went the whole way with that. And your business is thriving. So well done, congratulations. Therefore, the other Lions and I are really pleased to offer you an executive position in our company, Higher Ground. Woo! So this year has been so eventful. It's been such a roller coaster for me as well. Um, I am now with the major distributor. The first one that dropped out is just gone, but this one is bigger and better and I'm so excited. We have finally reduced our business overheads as well. So the profits are larger and bigger and I couldn't be prouder to say that I have doubled the investment that you invested in me. And just thank you so much, thank you. Carla, well done to you. You also doubled the investment money that we gave you. So you put it to really good use. And again, we're seeing a business that's really taking off and we can see the potential of that business in the future. So I want to congratulate you. Um, the Lions and I are pleased to offer you an executive position in our company, Higher Ground. So I've come here, yeah, to talk about what I did over the last 12 months with your money. So, I didn't really do anything with it because the reason is, yeah, you all, you, you lot only gave me a grand. So these lot, yeah, yeah. You gave them £100,000 and you gave that one year £10,000 but you only gave me a grand. What am I supposed to do with a grand? It's nothing. I can't do a business with a £1,000. So I, I put it in the account and I said I'll give it you back in 12 months time. So I'm here today yeah, to give you your money back because it's not fair what you did to me. Yeah, It's not fair. Danny, you just basically brought back the thousand pounds that we gave to you as an investment. So basically you've done nothing with that money. You didn't even have the wit to take it to a bank, deposit it, so that it would gather a bit of interest for us. It's just not good enough, Danny. You've made no effort whatsoever. You've been quite lazy. Not only did you run your father's lifetime business into the ground, but you took our money and you did nothing with it. Your attitude is also very poor, Danny. Disrespectful, no regard for customers or even us, the lions. And therefore, we're going to take our thousand pound back and we're going to wash our hands of you, Danny. And so that concludes tonight's episode of The Lion's Den. Three entrepreneurs were put through their paces and only two demonstrated that faithfulness with whatever the lions have entrusted into a person's care will lead to them being elevated and promoted to higher ground. Perhaps Danny Mellon from Manchester's story will serve as a lesson to us all. Until the next time, and the next round of fresh-faced, budding entrepreneurs step foot into the lion's den. My name is Carla White and I'm here today to pitch to you my idea of the Fit Band. Can we just start again? Sorry. Sound as your face, please, guys.